Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Scrap Mechanic. My name is Lord Payne and today I'm showing you a new suspension. So as you can see, I've already built a, a vehicle. Uh, well, this is just a prototype uh, where I was testing it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a double wishbone suspension, but I'm using uh, uh, two suspension on which uh, on each wheel as you can see and uh, I'm using one reverse suspension and one normal suspension so yeah so I'm going to show you how I, I built this and um, how this uh, works and I think it's a really very very good off-road suspension and uh, yeah let's just get to it and I'm going to show you how I made this one so as usually I'm going to use this block and um, I'm going to use this yellow uh, bearing so you can see what I'm doing so I'm using this um, reversed suspension and then I will use a normal sport suspension okay so let's see then I need some pipes so as you can see there is an update uh, on uh, Scrap Mechanic, it's a test uh, version right now, it's I think 2.11 and uh, we have the search bar where we can search for suspension for example or uh, yeah, bearings or yes, all kind of things. So uh, yeah, this is only one of the improvements. There is also uh, the sensor can detect detect different colors, but I'm not going to show this right now. I'm just uh, talking about the uh, suspension. So let me just pick up some pipes. I will need. I already have this one. I need this one. Maybe this one, and I will need a wheel. Then I will need a driver's seat. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make this almost uh, only with vanilla parts. I might use one of these. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. So what I did is I took one inverted suspension, and then um, we are going to uh, build the double wishbone starting from this suspension. So we'll need a D joint and a corner pipe and then two bearings. So this will be the start of the of the double wishbone. And then uh, the second suspension will going is going to come right over there. And then uh, this is where the wheel comes. Yeah, so let's see, like that, and like this, and then weld these things together, and then one more pipe, a bearing, another pipe, like this, another bearing, and then a wheel. So then the second suspension comes right over here, so this one will have to be able to move. So I'm going to place, uh, mount this one on bearings like this. I think one is enough. I'm not going to use two of them. One will be enough. So yeah, just mount the suspension on top. And then I need a bearing and a corner pipe like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to build also this other side. So um, then I'm going to save this one and just weld it as uh, the rear suspension. Okay, bearings. I also need this one like that. On a bearing. Like this. Suspension. This. Okay, so now I need this corner pipe, corner pipe, this one, this 
So before I forget it, just let me weld this together. Yeah, just like that. Two bearings, corner pipe. Like that. Another bearing. Another bearing and a wheel. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. So I'll suggest for the beginning, let's just set this one on 20 and this one, yeah, it could stay, let's say on five. So it depends on how heavy your vehicle is and stuff. So uh, let me just save this one like that. And then uh, as you can already see, when I remove the lift, it will just move like this because the reverse suspension will uh, um, contract and will get smaller <laughs> because it works the opposite way uh, as the normal suspension. So like this you will have a, like a double wishbone suspension with this spring and when this spring uh, goes uh, all the way up then this one will go uh, down. So you will have quite a bit of uh, travel on... Um, actually I wanted to see if this is if this suspension is stabilized because... No, I don't think it's stabilized. No, it's not stabilized as you can see. It's only stabilized like to the front, not to the rear, to left and right. So as you can see it's not doesn't tip over so that means it's stabilized like in this direction not to the side only in this direction okay so let me just mount some place some blocks over here so this should maybe a bit longer something like this and then just spawn another suspension and uh, I'm going to weld this one over here, like that. And then, because I don't want a rear steering, I will use this controller and just connect these steering bearings to the controller so they don't move. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Let me just place uh, two engines. Uh, like this and then connect everything so I'll take this one for the front like that like this I think this should be left or left and right that's good so this would be the rear engine like this and just front engine I'll take it to uh, let's say three and the rear engine I'll take it to number two. So we still have to add, add some weight to it so it will drive better. Let's say like this. Maybe some more over here. So as you can see it's already going down so we might want to adjust Six would be good. I think five is not enough, but six looks pretty good. Okay, so as I said, I will start with this one on 20. I think that's a bit much, but uh, we'll see how it drives. So left, right, and here we go. Yeah, so as you can see, when you just drive on a normal terrain only the black suspensions will uh, activate but uh, when you start to jump or hit a bigger rock like this one <laughs> kind of missed this one uh, then also the red suspension the reverse suspension will go like this see how it goes down so this gives you a lot of travel So that might be a bit too hard. Let's see if we take 
10. It's, this might be a bit too... Hmm. Looks okay. Nah, no, that's not enough. You see it already goes down. So that's a bit... Let's say 13. So maybe I'll adjust these black ones on the back a bit higher because it's really heavier. Okay, let's see. I think it's still not enough on the back. Let's see how it hits to... Let's say 15, this should be enough. 15, 15. And also over here. Yeah. Oh, maybe still not enough. Well, it, it really depends on how heavy your vehicle is and what, uh, on which, what terrain you're driving. But as you can see, uh, it acts pretty good. So you might want to make the car even heavier than this. Let's put just one more layer on of a heavy box. And then make it a bit stiffer. 20. I think I have to go with 20 on this one. Eight, eight, twenty, twenty. Yeah, this should work. Now the engines are a bit weak, <laughs> but yeah, you can also take uh, modded engines. So you see how much travel you have on the wheels. Pretty, pretty heavy. I think it's a bit too heavy. So let's take away some blocks. Maybe like that. Yeah. So you can al also use uh, off-road suspensions. Then you will have even more travel. But, uh, as you can see, it's working pretty good. It's pretty stable, it can handle these shocks and everything. But because it's a bit stabilized to the front, like I said, uh, it's a, a bit harder to steer. Go and try and climb on these rocks over here. Yeah. <laughs> now I got stuck on the last one. <laughs> well, I think it's really cool. So uh, let me know if you want me to upload this uh, suspension to the workshop, but I think it's pretty easy to build, so you can build your own. Your own. And uh, yeah, I will, I'll be happy to see some of your creations if you uh, have like, like a, a, a different suspension, like an off-road suspension or something else, or make it even bigger or smaller. Just uh, post a link in the comments down below or on uh, my discord server and uh, yeah this is the new suspension um, thank you for watching and i see you next time bye bye